It seems like as a woman in South Africa, the only way to avoid being raped is by dying. You can't even stay inside because inside you'll just be raped by family or whatever. At school, there's teachers. In the clubs, there's perpetrators. So what must we do? Die? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. I honestly can't start today's video with my normal enthusiastic hi guys because the topic that I'm addressing today is not enthusiastic, is not happy, is not okay, but is a very painful and harsh reality of millions of women, children, boys, men and humans, people all over the world. Last week we discovered that Uyinene was raped and murdered by a man from the post office. The post office. She was not drunk. She was not getting lit at a party. She was going to pick up something at the post office. And that was her sin. That was her crime. Before I get into today's video, I want to recite a poem that I asked a friend of mine to write for the very sake of this video. It is called, I Stand With You by Benjamin Obeng. To you who think you have a right to my body, I ask, how dare you? To you who think you can touch my flesh without permission, I ask, how dare you? This is for the women and the men whose permissions were not considered. This is for the boys and the girls who do not have a say. This is for the ones without a voice. You see, we felt your eyes when they were not requested. We felt the friendly tap on the bum and we hated it. We resented your hands that went up our thighs. You thought it was a game, but what you did had real consequences for us. What you did not hear was us sobbing into our pillows, afraid to wake family members. All you cared about was your own selfish satisfaction. What you did not hear were our horrific gasps after waking up from yet another nightmare. All you cared about was yourself. What you chose not to hear were the piercing screams of stop, what are you doing, stop it. You never heard my consent. This is for everyone who has been molested, abused, raped, or been touched inappropriately in some way, shape, or form. I light a candle for you, a flame that says true love lives here, a reminder of the power that is inside you. If you are going through the dark, angry storms, I need you to hold on, because one day your ship will reach port. Someday the sun will shine. Healing is not easy, but it is possible, and I stand with you. Do you know that 35% of women worldwide have been sexually assaulted by men whom they are not in a relationship with? And 70% of women have been sexually assaulted by partners, men they were with and that they trusted. Do you know that one in every five women has been molested. I want to take this time to really define what sexual assault and abuse means. Sexual abuse or assault is when one person intentionally touches another person sexually without the person's consent and it is done by means of force, violence, intimidation or blackmail. The reason I felt compelled to share the definition is because there are so many women, children, men who have been sexually assaulted, but because it was not physical rape, they don't think it counts. They don't think they deserve to share their pain and their story. They think, oh, but you know, I wasn't raped, so like, it's not as bad as somebody else. No. If someone has touched you 
or has made you touch them sexually without your consent that is sexual assault if someone is whispering sexual things into your ear saying sexual things to you and you feel uncomfortable and you express that you do not want that that is sexual harassment it is not only rape and of course rape is included in that if someone inserts any single part of their body inside of yours or makes you insert any part of your body inside of them without your consent and your permission that is sexual assault that is sexual abuse that is sexual harassment there's a reason why i'm saying women children and men because men go through it too because boys go through it too and they are suffering in silence they are dying in silence because if they speak up a young boy will come and say to you so and so touched me in this way so and so came to me and did this to me and people will say oh good job my boy oh you did that you bagged an older lady no an elderly woman came to this boy and touched him inappropriately a young boy who is impressionable who doesn't understand better who doesn't know better we need to stop blinding ourselves to the abuse of young men and boys as well just because he is a boy it doesn't mean that he wanted an older woman to touch him inappropriately that is sexual assault and we need to pay attention to our boys as well we need to pay attention to young men as well who are crying out for help but are not saying it bluntly or are being laughed at or ridiculed for it that is sexual assault and that is one of the misconceptions about sexual assault another one is the fact that you know as women in particular we are being told don't 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 drink at night stay in at night don't wear short skirts don't wear short things don't you know wear things that show your cleavage that's what we're being told we've done that we've done all of that women are being raped going to the post office they are being raped at home they are being raped in the clubs they are being raped in the streets they are being raped at school it doesn't matter what we do it doesn't matter what we're wearing it's happening and the world needs to stop teaching women do this do that to avoid being raped no rapists do not rape because of what you're wearing rapists do not rape because you are drunk rapists rape because they are rapists that is why and we need to teach women and men to stop being rapists to not be a rapist and another misconception is that rapists, molesters and sexual abusers are that dark stranger, that person with a big van who says come get candy from my car. Do you know who a rapist is? A rapist is your neighbor. A rapist is your brother, your father, your cousin, your friend, your pastor. Rapists do not have a face. Rapists do not have a certain position or line of work. Rapists are lawyers. Rapists are producers. Rapists are accountants. Rapists are business people. Rapists are hobos. Rapists are everywhere. And we cannot tell boys and girls, women and men to stay inside to avoid rape because they're everywhere. They'll tell you stay inside to avoid rape and the rapist is the one in your house. The rapist is the one they left with you or that they left you with them to take care of you. Rapists everywhere. Guys, rape rape is more than what you think. It is not sex. It is not just a physical violation. It is spiritual, it is mental, it is emotional, it is physical. It breaks you apart physically, spiritually. It breaks your spirit. It can break your spirit. I worked at a home for the mentally challenged and there was a woman there who was in a really bad state. And I asked, what's wrong with her? They told me her story. She was raped, gang raped. And after the rape, she couldn't recover. She couldn't cope again. And that is how she ended up losing her mind, basically. Rape is not sex, guys. And rape is not in the moment. That's not where rape ends. Rape can end in sickness and diseases. And not just physical ones, not just HIV and STDs and babies, which are not a disease, but 
it's a can be a result of rape as I said before in the beginning of my video one in every five women has been sexually assaulted in one way or the other you cannot look at someone and say ah, rape she's been through something no rape doesn't have a face the same way rapists don't have a face rape victims don't have a face so be careful how you interact with people men some men have this belief that they can go around touching women as they please tapping women's bums or you know just grabbing women and it's a playful thing it's not playful how do you think a woman is going to react to that a woman who has been sexually assaulted a woman who hasn't let a man touch her in years and you playfully go tap her bum it's not just a tap in the bum that hand that you placed on her is a reminder of the hands that he placed all over her body the hand he placed over her mouth when he told her to keep quiet as he physically assaulted her as he forced himself in Inside of her that tap on the bum is not just a tap on the bum it is a reminder of him do not touch people without their permission now all of that being said how can we as people help first of all tell on them 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 tell tell on your mom tell on your dad tell on your uncle tell on your brother tell on your cousins tell on your friends tell on your best friends because silence is a form of endorsement. When you know what someone does, when you know that they are sexually abusing and harassing people and you keep quiet, that is a form of endorsement. That is as good as standing in the room watching them commit the crime. You don't say anything, so they move on to the next girl and the next girl and the next one and the next one because you are quiet, because you didn't say anything. Because the only ones that knew were you the perpetrator and the victim. The victim is too scarred to say anything. The perpetrator won't tell on themselves. What are you gonna do? I would also like to encourage rape victims themselves to report the cases. Of course, it's easier said than done, I know. And there's a stat that says that only 6% of rapes have actually led to prosecution. But please report them as soon as possible. Report, the, report it to the police, go and tell the police, tell someone, tell someone. As the rape victim, tell someone. If you tell your family and friends and they don't really support you, they don't take you seriously, please, please, please reach out to someone else. Don't give up, don't keep quiet, keep on telling. Somebody will help. Go to the police and tell. And another thing that we as people can do, believe believe people believe rape victims believe people who have been sexually assaulted believe and do not be little believe and do not be little what do i mean if someone comes and tells you that they were sexually abused believe them don't say oh why would your own dad do that to you why would your brother do that to you why would your cousin do that to you why would mr whoever from next door do that to you you're making it up it's in your head you don't make up rape in your head you don't kids don't play with rape as a kid you don't just sit there and be like mm, what can i say oh he inserted his penis into me mommy kids don't make up rape believe them grown women small women big men small men believe rape victims and do not belittle it do not say oh okay basically you know he he just touched you he did, that's not a big deal don't don't belittle it because for someone to have the courage to come and tell you it was not easy even as a kid do you know that even children they may not understand what is being done to them but they know that something wrong is being done to them kids feel ashamed when being sexually abused they know that something is going on that shouldn't be. They know something's been done to them that should not have been done. Kids don't make this stuff up. Please believe and do not be little. Please support rape and sexual assault victims as best as you can. Support them, be there for them, listen to them. Take, Go with them to the police, go with them somewhere. Please do support them. Do not judge them. When someone comes to you and tells you they've been assaulted, don't say, but why were you at his house? But why were you drunk? But why this? But why that? Like I said, for someone to come out to you and be able to tell you what happened to them, it takes a lot. Do not, you know, if you reject someone, if you reject and belittle what they're telling you, they may never tell anyone ever again. And they'll just die with their pain. So please, support, believe, 
do not belittle. Another thing is stop blaming the victims. Stop blaming the victims. Stop saying things like, why were you wearing this? Why did you go there? Why this? Why that? That's not the point. The point is someone was sexually assaulted. Someone was abused. That's, that's the point. That's the point. It doesn't matter where they were going. It doesn't matter they were dating. It doesn't matter the mistake. It doesn't matter how they found themselves there. The point is that they got sexually abused, assaulted, and raped. Stop blaming the victims. Stop victim shaming. Trust me, they feel enough shame as it is. They feel enough shame as it is. They don't need you to add more shame. It seems like as a woman in South Africa, the only way to avoid being raped is by dying. You can't even stay inside because inside you'll just be raped by family or whatever. At school, there's teachers. In the clubs, there's perpetrators. So what must we do? Die? Lastly, I just want to say to those going through it, to those who have been touched, who have been raped, assaulted, violated, invaded, abused, I'm sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I am so sorry. I just want you to know, you are not alone. It is not your fault. You didn't deserve it. I am sorry. And I pray that you find the strength to carry on to keep on, to keep fighting, to keep pushing. That person who overpowered you in that moment has no power over your life. Do not allow them to overpower your life. Do not allow them to take your life. Do not allow them to have power over your future. Reclaim your strength and your power. Stop believing that you forcing sex onto someone is just sex and they wanted it. Fun fact, raping a lesbian won't make them straight. Raping a gay man won't make them straight. You have no right to anyone's body. The same applies for women as well. That little boy does not need you playing with his penis. He does not want you to explore with him. If you are doing sexual acts with someone who's not old enough to understand what it is, you're a rapist. If you are forcing your body onto someone, you are a rapist. And that's it for today. I hope you liked this video and um, please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Let's stick together and um, let's keep fighting. Peace and love guys.